Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to show you how to set up contact tracing on your iPhone. You're probably thinking you guys already made that video. Uh, true, but more and more states are releasing the apps that are compatible with the new contact tracing setting in the settings app. And we're gonna show you how to set that up today. Right, so the video we made last week was more about how it works uh, you know, technologically in the security settings, whereas we tried to make this video last week yeah. too. And then we got stuck halfway through the process because New York hadn't come out with their app yet, but now they have. Let's dive in. All right, so first thing, we're gonna open up the settings app and scroll down to exposure notifications, tap on that, tap on turn on exposure notifications and tap continue. If you have any questions about how this all works, watch the other video. We're just gonna get more into the nuts and bolts of how it works on your iPhone right now. Yep, you're selecting your country now. You gotta uh, scroll all the way down for your, your US. And I'm in New York, I'm going to tap on New York. Your region has an exposure notification app. Tap open on App Store. If you tap done, you go right back to the beginning. I don't know why that is like that. Open App Store, here we go. Where is New York? There it is. A lot more states have apps now. We recorded this last week. Yep. Tap get, tap install, enter my password. So here we are, the app has finished installing. I'm gonna tap open. COVID alert and why I am over the age of 18, confirm. Get started. Set up closeness sensing for COVID alerts. Okay, next. Enable COVID-19 exposure logging and notifications. Your iPhone can securely collect and share random IDs with nearby devices enable. That's the whole point of this is yep. to enable and we'll, that. And, we, and we, we'll show you what those look like and you'll see that there's really not a lot of personally identifiable information here. We like this app to send you notifications, probably. Yep. Probably. If you want to, if you know, if you have COVID, you probably want to know. Close to sensing and COVID alerts are active. Thank you for doing your part to stop the spread. Share this app with friends. I'm not going to share. Here we are. Look at all this good data. Yeah, people really like this app. It's actually pretty highly rated in the app store. That's the NY COVID data, my health log. A health log helps you keep track of your own health by storing a history of your symptoms. This does not reveal your identity. Uh, my COVID alerts, this is already active. I just activated this, so that's all set. Yep. And some app settings you can work through. I, sure. As you said earlier, the data and privacy stuff, you don't really need to be all that concerned about it. So. Right. I know that it sounds crazy that we're saying this, that it actually is yeah. pretty safe, and that there's really nothing we can say to make some of our viewers believe us that it actually is safe or that we don't have a horse in this race, because we don't. But it really is safe. Because I, I, because there's a monetary reason it's safe. They don't want to screw this up. Yeah. Not because they're nice guys. We're not saying that. We're not crazy. We're not crazy. We're not crazy. I'm not crazy. So let's go back to the main settings app. All right. I'm just going to close out of this and type app on settings again. Right. So I set this up. You can tap done now. All right. And now there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Right. I wasn't there before. View exposures Indeed. in app. Exposure logging status active. Right. Active, active region, region New York. Sure. This will not automatically report if you get COVID-19. You have to go into share a diagnosis in COVID alert app to do that. And then that will open the app and you can share it in here. Which is not, hopefully you didn't actually <laughs> share. <laughs> I don't think you did. So you can tap share a diagnosis in COVID that's alert. That's if you, if you get a positive test. Right, that's what I mean. Okay. So like the app doesn't automatically know if you get COVID-19. Instead, you have to share it through the app. It's a little bit different mm -hmm. for each state. Sometimes they give you a pin to enter. Um, you never know. So just be aware of that. Also, this monthly update feature is kind of cool because it will remind you once a month that this app is installed and that there is stuff going on in the background of your iPhone. If you're concerned about privacy, you don't want this feature on forever, it's a good thing to put on. I'm gonna leave that switch off for now. Our active region right now is New York State, Department of Health. If you travel a lot, you can install other apps and have other regions installed on your iPhone. Yep. So let's take out my phone, and I've had this running for a few days. I'm gonna just go to settings and then scroll down to exposure notifications, and I'm gonna tap on active under exposure logging status. When active, your iPhone can exchange random IDs with other devices, exposure checks. This is a record of all requests to check your exposure log from the past 14 days. So this is what's going on. 
this is what other people get about me. This hash. And wow, that's definitely you. That's me. They're like, that's Dave's hash. I recognize <laughs> that. Even though it rotates every 15 to 20 minutes, it'll mm. change. It also doesn't send people any location data. All it does is send people this string of letters and numbers. So it really is pretty safe. Yep. And actually, it's the health department that gets this information. Apple helped health departments to set up the server. Apple and Google together did. But Apple and Google never get to see any of this information at all for any reason. So there's really not a lot here to Yeah, to that, that just there's there's good stuff in there. It's yep. keeping track and mm -hmm. helping and, reduce the spread. Yeah, you can see matched key count here. What happens in the background is it checks the server to see if any of these hashes match somebody who then reports a positive diagnosis. If you do get a positive diagnosis, the pop-up appears on your phone and tells you what to do next. Yeah, so that is how to set up contact tracing on your iPhone. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones.